Hey dudes, Purple Cloud Cat here. Welcome to my channel. Ra. <laughs> All right, boys. It's 2:30 a.m. in the morning as I'm recording this. And shut up. I don't want to hear it. We're gonna talk about my sleep schedule. <laughs> Uh, and we're doing that because this is a nighttime illustration that I'm working on and yeah, I, God forbid, I just go to bed and get a good night's sleep and do my work in the morning. No, instead I gotta have five different Krita tabs up, all with projects I'm procrastinating on and talking about how much my sleep schedule sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just talk about this commission real quick bef before we get into the topic. So this is another commission for Arcturus. I did a commission for Arcturus last video of their character Vaichi and this is their character Blight. Blight is an alumni, which if y'all don't know what an alumni is, I'm not gonna do a good job at explaining. It's basically like a dragon fox kind of creature that's kind of fluffy and they all have crazy colors and features and wings and it's sick. Their alumni's are sick. They're really cool. And Arcturus, thank you for being cool and pog and awesome sauce and paying me to draw your really cool characters. It's it's awesome. Before we get into the actual topic of the video, I'm just gonna quick shout out to the sponsor, unofficial sponsor, me. Yeah, cause I need to make money. <laughs> my commissions are finally open again. I changed my whole commission model, made it a lot simpler for y'all. I'll put all the options on screen, but we have a good variety of all different price points depending on your budget. We have, of course, the classic headshot, half body, full body. We have a scene illustration, which is fun because I get to add a background and cool lighting and it just really elevates the piece. <laughs> and then we also have a chibi style commission and we have a littlest pet shop style one. Due to the success of that video, um, I thought that would be a fun option to include, so. <laughs> Each full body commission of any style also comes with a complimentary PNG, which, <laughs> heck, if you wanna slap your mascot on the Windows Vista background or like in front of the White House, I don't know why you'd want to slap it in front of the White House. That just seems kind of dumb. There's so many cooler places for your mascot to go. <laughs> but you can, you could do it. You could slap it anywhere. <laughs> Oh, and I can do commissions in just about any size within reason, whether you want it in inches, centimeters, pixels, like whether you want that to be a digital wallpaper or a print or a mouse pad, let me know. I can make whatever size you need within reason. I, I don't, I'm not going to make it like billboard size, but <laughs> know your limits, but just about any size, I got you. Thank you so much for listening to me babble. If you'd like to commission me, my link is gonna be in the description below for more information. And when in doubt, just message me, email me. I won't bite. <laughs> Only thing I will bite on is cookies. That sounds really good right now. Man, I wanna make chocolate chip cookies. It's way too late for that, but I, I might. You know what, I might. I might make chocolate chip cookies. That sounds delicious. <laughs> All right, seven hours later, we are finally gonna jump into the actual topic of the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, the topic of my sleep schedule has been one I've been wanting to talk about for a while just because I think about this all the damn time. Yeah, it's kind of hard not to think about it when I'm literally doing it right now. <laughs> and like, here's the thing. 
I always fought my bedtime ever since I was a little kid, like ever since I was in like kindergarten, first, second, third grade, my bedtime would start at eight and then like I'd beg my parents to push it to 8.30 and then nine and then 9.30 and then 10. And somehow I convinced them that I should go to bed at 10.30 and they, they did not budge past that. <laughs> 10 30 they were like uh no little child you need sleep <laughs> but there was a workaround for that as soon as i went up to my bed i had my ds and i would play a uh, pokemon and i <laughs> whenever i could hear my parents footsteps i would promptly hide my ds under the pillow and go honk shoo me 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 they they probably saw through my bullshit but <laughs> i'm gonna pretend that they didn't just so that i feel cool and mischievous and like a smart kid i was not a smart kid <laughs> oh yeah here's your disclaimer for the video uh yeah don't don't take any of my lifestyle habits as advice um yeah disclaimer i am stupid and i am also dumb <laughs> there there that's all you get that's your disclaimer <laughs> I think what's interesting is that as a kid, like your reasons for going to bed late are kind of very different from your reasons to go to bed late as an adult. Oh, okay, it's, it's like they're different, but not really. And here's why. So like when you're a kid, like most kids don't have a whole bunch of adult responsibilities to worry about. They, they have kid stuff to worry about. like. The, the world's kind of unfair for kids. Like, it, it kind of is. Like, yeah, they don't have to do taxes and pay bills and get a job, but y'all just how little freedom they have. Although as an adult, it seems like they have a lot of freedom because they can just watch TV and play and that's kind of just normal and they're not that they're, they're not like blamed for that, you know? While as an adult, it's like you have to be responsible and crap, where was I going with this? Y'all, if I forgot where I was going with this, I'm, I'm gonna feel so bad about myself. Y'all, y'all, I'm sad. But okay, okay, this is this is where I was going. So like, as a kid, your, your reasons for going to bed late are mostly you kind of just want to enjoy more of your time. Like you, you want to watch one more episode of your favorite TV show, or you want to put together a few more of your Legos, or you want to play Webkins just a little bit longer. Or I, I don't know what kids do these days. I want to say they watch Coco Melon, but I feel like that's just like babies and toddlers. <laughs> Gosh, what time is it? 2.40? Oh yeah, by the way, I am recording this at 2.40 a.m. in the morning. If that doesn't explain much to you, I don't know what does, but anyways, where was I? Oh yeah, okay, so kids' reasons for going to bed late is they want to do more stuff. They really, really want to explore more of the world. They want to learn more. They want to have more fun. And as an adult, that just kind of flips on its head. By the time you're an adult and you've you've worked your, your lawn hours at your jobs and you've worked lawn hours doing your college student stuff. I say college student stuff as if like... <laughs> Y'all, I left college after a sophomore year, and y'all, I'd be graduating this year if I hadn't left. Yeah, I, I went to art school, but um, that'll be a different video. But anyways, yeah, when you're an adult, you, you want to go to bed. Like, whether you want to admit it or not, like, yes, even if you, you're the kind of person who wants to do college parties, like, at the end of the day, you're, you're doing that to escape your adult responsibilities. As a kid, you're not really escaping your adult responsibilities and your reasons for going to bed late as an adult are kind of different in the sense that you just have so much more to worry about. Like there's more bedtime anxiety and 
Like, you know how sometimes you stay up late and you're not tired and you just kind of get in fix your life mode. You maybe clean your room, you maybe you start working out or you watch videos of other people working out and being healthy and you're like, man, tomorrow morning, that's when I'm going to start getting my life together. <laughs> Yeah, just as an adult, your your reason for going to bed late changes. And I know for me, it, it, it's changed quite a lot. Like until high school, I went to bed late because I wanted to have fun. In high school, like that's when I kind of realized my grades mattered. And I started staying up really late to get my homework done and to not only just to get it done, like if I wanted to get it done, like I could do it in like half hour, 45 minutes but I wanted it to be good. I wanted to be noticeably the best student. That that didn't happen. That did not happen. <laughs> Just to be clear, that did not happen. I failed, but like in high school and college, I, I wanted to convince everyone that I was the best student. Yes, that's very egotistical. Don't act like you haven't had that desire. Don't, don't lie to me. Don't lie, you wanna be the best. Even if you don't want to admit it, you wanna be the best. You wanna show everyone up. You want to be the student that everyone looks up to and is like, man, they're pretty dang good. Because <laughs> I always hated it when people were better than me. <laughs> but yeah, I think this, this tendency to go to bed late, I think nighttime is al also a lot more peaceful, especially if you live with other people. Like, y'all, not to toot my own horn, I still live with my parents. Y'all, I'm 22. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Some people say you should be moved out by 22. Y'all, it is so much cheaper to live with your parents. As long as your parents aren't insufferable. Stay home, save money while you can. <laughs> I wouldn't want to live home forever, but right now I appreciate it. And I've got my cat here with me. She's amazing. I love her. And yeah, she just opened my door. She's way too smart for her own good. <laughs> Gosh, I get so sidetracked. Y'all, anyway, so where was I? Yeah, so creatives, musicians, writers, inventors, <laughs> even people who just like reading and learning, people who haven't lost their childhood spark, curiosity, or just have a purpose in life. <laughs> yeah, just nighttime, just there's less people and talk to you for 45 minutes. <laughs> That's my dad. He, I love my dad, but we can easily get into like a 45 minute conversation when I just meant to make like a comment or two. <laughs> he also chooses to go to bed later if he can. <laughs> it it kind of runs in the family. But yeah, I think also college students, like whether it is that they're party students or whether whether they're just insomniac or depressed and or they really want to make everything a passion project. They really want to show everyone up. They want to bring their best work and they're kind of willing to <laughs> they're kind of willing to make themselves suffer <laughs> for it. That was definitely me and my roommate. It kind of came to the point where at the end of the semester at the end of our second semester freshman year um we kind of ran out of groceries the only time we would like that this was during the time 2020 2021 where all our classes were online the school wasn't really open at all <laughs> for much of anything so we kind of just stayed in our dorms when we weren't like going for a walk or getting groceries we were in the dorm we were in the dorm but um I kind of got to the point that, yeah, we ran out of groceries and the only time, like we didn't even want to take the time out of our schoolwork to go and get groceries. We'd order takeout. We, <laughs> our last couple days, we just walked to the gas station at midnight and we grabbed popcorn and strawberry milk. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> Y'all, popcorn and strawberry milk. I, I I would I would still devour that, but we we did need actual food when when we both got home from college for the school year, we we both gobbled up our feelings. <laughs> well, I gobbled up my feelings. Yeah. So, but yeah, it got to the point where that was the only time we would ever take a break from our work. 
Otherwise, it'd be like day and night and into the night. Guys, there was one point where I, um, I, <laughs> I stayed up like almost three days in a row and then inevitably I crashed. And y'all, you y'all want to know how long I slept? Oh, hey, Ani. She just jumped on my lap. But y'all, y'all want to know how long I slept? 18 hours. Well, maybe 17 and a half. It was 18 hours. It was way too long. <laughs> and I missed a couple of my classes and I kind of had to email my professors and be like, uh, hey, yeah, so I'm kind of a uh, menace to society. I, um, yeah, I'm kind of a husk of a human being and I'm suffering. And, uh, yeah, sorry I didn't make it to class. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I'm a, I'm a simple girl. I'm a simple girl. I see cute little fluffy cat and I get distracted. I get distracted. You distract me. You distract me. And that is a-okay because you're cute. You're cute. <laughs> but yeah, I think a lot of this staying up late, I think also as an adult, comes from a uh, revenge bedtime procrastination. Yeah, I, I said it, I said it. Yeah, just the societal and social expectations that we have in our day to day to present ourselves as put together and functioning human beings who are smart and capable and totally not thinking about our own worries, fears, wants, ambitions. <laughs> It's easy for me to daydream. During the daytime, I look super dazed and super out of it. And y'all, I <laughs> I look like the personification of autism and inattentive ADHD. <laughs> but yeah, and also just, at least for me as an artist, the, the process of doing art just seems to kind of naturally oppose the typical nine to five schedule that's expected of us. I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky now that my current job, I work at an olive oil place. It's like olive oils and balsamics and like cute little health food snacks. It's so cute. It's a cute little store. But when we're not busy, I can literally just whip out my drawing tablet and draw. <laughs> and it doesn't pay too shabby either. I, I'm really lucky to have the job. Ideally, I would just stay home and work on my art all day, work on my business, but y'all, <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> I, I need that part-time job <laughs> and it ain't too bad. I don't mind talking to customers, although sometimes I look really tired and I'm sure they can tell, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> as long as I'm friendly enough, it, it, it don't bother them too much, I don't think. <laughs> But yeah, um, this is just kind of the runaround of what my life is like. My sleep schedule's definitely gotten better since college. Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to mention. So my roommate and I love her to death. Um, yeah, <laughs> there was a point where we would take turns with the one hour nap. Mom said it's my turn for the one hour nap. Mom said it's my turn for the Xbox. <laughs> But like, here's the thing, if we were both asleep at the same time, we were going to be asleep for hours, which is kind of what happened. <laughs> That's kind of what happened. But the point of us each taking like a one hour nap was that, all right, we could get our one hour of much needed. We needed much more than an hour, but in our minds, if we were going to get everything done the way we wanted to, Y'all, we, we both spent like 70, 80 hours on a stop motion that maybe should have taken us like 30 or 40. <laughs> Y'all, we wanted to win the contest. There, there was like a contest for like the best, like it was like a film festival and it was a contest. And y'all, the, the festival got canceled, y'all. It was so embarrassing and heartbreaking. We were both pissed. We were livid. But yeah, if we wanted to uh, get everything done the way we wanted it to, uh, we had to take turns with the one hour nap. And when one of our one hour, we, like we'd have a timer. 
And once that person's one hour nap was done, we'd wake him up and say, all right, my turn to nap. <laughs> that, that didn't go very well. I think we went a few rounds before it just wasn't sustainable. No human is meant to structure their sleep like that. <laughs> Y'all, it was terrible. But yeah, current day and age, I am dating my boyfriend who is opposite sleep schedule with me. He's always been an early to bed, early to rise. Not that he loves getting up in the morning, but it's kind of what he's always accustomed himself to. And he has less of a problem with it than I do. <laughs> he's just more mature than I am. But um, <laughs> yeah, he definitely taught me that my sleep schedule was not sustainable in the long term. Like my, my sleep schedule wasn't dog water like it was always it, like it was never good or like socially acceptable but it was really bad in college like sometimes i'd be up until 6 a.m working on a project that i could have maybe been up until midnight doing again it's the perfectionism and it got to the point where he'd be like i'm not going to bed until you do and i was like that is a load of crap <laughs> nonetheless i did not want him to go to bed like when I realized I did not want him to go to bed the same time I did, that's when I kind of knew, okay, I have a bit of a problem. I would suddenly get like really faint and tired all the time. Like I I'm still kind of tired all the time. I think it's affected me long term. Yeah, this is kind of how my life is. It's much better than it was in college, but here I am up at 2.56 a.m. I'm probably not gonna get up until like 10, 10.30, 11. I'll probably wanna sleep until like noon or one, but I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. I have too much to do. And yeah, sorry this isn't an encouraging or chill or relaxing video. Um, Yeah, I just kind of wanted to rant and complain and rant and complain i did <laughs> thank y'all for listening to me it looks like we're almost done with this illustration here i'm glad i really chose to challenge myself i usually don't do nighttime commissions but not to toot my own horn but i think i did a pretty dang good job but bam there it is is and there it is with the Vaichi commission uh yeah it was totally intentional to have a matchup like that even arcturus was pretty thrilled about it when she realized i still have the 151 subscriber wallpaper available in the description below it's free if you'd like to give me a little extra support you can check out my patreon these are the goodies for the month of April. They're lavender themed <laughs> or lavender loaf. <laughs> lavender friends, I like to call them. Live, laugh, loaf. <laughs> I also have all these full quality phone wallpapers available for download. I also have exclusive bee paints and tutorials. I have work in progress snapshots and full quality illustration posts. I have polls on what I should do next and I have coloring pages. Alrighty, that was a doozy of a video, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you for sticking around this long if you have. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to consider subscribing. Little tippy tap on the funny little button. And feel free to comment below, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!